Welcome to Behind the Last Chair. I'm your host, Alexis Weisenberger, founder and owner of AW Lashes. My goal is to help you as a lash artist grow with tips and tricks on lashing, becoming an entrepreneur, marketing, and so much more. This is an amazing place to find free resources and connect with lash artists all around the world. Let's get started. All right, you guys, I am so excited for this week's podcast. You guys have been submitting so many questions to us and we're so excited. And this was a different topic than we thought we'd be talking about, but so many questions about fitness and health. So we brought on an expert and his Instagram handle is team underscore Dre. Is that correct, Andre? Yeah, team underscore Dre all day. All day. I forgot yes, all day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And he also owns a gym and it's uh hit squad. So it's at hit squad with two eyes. Is that correct, Andre? That's correct. That's correct. So we brought an expert in to answer all of your guys' questions. He has saved me so many times in my oh, fitness great. journey. And I'm excited to share all of his knowledge to you guys. So we just have a bunch of questions. So Andre, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm doing amazing. Now I'm on your podcast. I'm doing like super good. (laughs) Hey, you're the one. Everyone knows who Andre is in Colorado. Oh my, that's what what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. (laughs) So now we have to share you with the whole class. So the secret's out, everyone. (laughs) Here he is. (laughs) so Andre how did you get started in this like were you just always just a natural athlete or just really good at eating or is this something you've had to work on to become you know such an amazing you know athlete and coach right on yes absolutely I think it's like starting um, anywhere so I started my fitness journey very young um, and it started with sports so sports was kind of the introduction Mm-hmm. Um, to fitness and what the, the whole point for sports was just performance so I didn't enjoy any of it I didn't enjoy lifting I didn't enjoy running uh, none of it um, but I did it because it was for a specific reason I wanted to become better at sports mm-hmm. in general and that's where it kind of changed um, so from doing fitness um, I noticed how it changed me uh, mentally, I would say would be the biggest aspect, um, a mm-hmm. lot of clarity for myself it made me feel great. I had so much confidence. Um, and then it turned into a physical appearance as well. Mm-hmm. Kind of just in general, I was like, wow, like sports, this is great. Like I'm performing a lot better, but then all these other aspects started coming along with it. Um, and that started, I would say like 14, 14 wow. years old. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. I mean, I found you um, originally at Orange Theory and I was kind of at the time I had so much work stuff going on and um, lashes was taking off and it was being awesome. But I found you and mentally I needed an Andre class. Um, Right on. (laughs) So I feel like um, a lot of lash artists in our community you know, we lash and we sit all day and we always have these struggles. And so our first question actually is um, by Ashley. And she wants to know, because she used to go to beauty school, cosmetology actually, and yeah. she graduated and now she's doing- Oh, congratulations. Lashing. Congratulations. <laughs> right? So awesome job, Ashley. And she wants to know, you know, she was- you know, moving a lot more and, you know, shaking and baking, doing tests. And now she's lashing and sitting all day and she is gaining what we call the last 15. So what advice (laughs) would Andre have to someone who goes from shaking and baking to sitting for eight to 12 hours a day um, to kind of help prevent that lash 15 or anything like that, maybe a workout or food or anything. We just would love your advice. Yeah, yeah I think in general, I think the number one thing for folks that sit, a um, couple things, um, it's just having food available. 
Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're extremely busy, usually what's available is not a good choice. Um, mm -hmm. And I think with that aspect too, as well, sitting for so long, you want a break and a break tends to be cool. Let me grab a snack. And it's just even get out of your situation. You might be bored and just to be cool. Like I need to get up out of this chair for a minute. Hold on. And it mm -hmm. usually turns to snacking on some things. And especially if you have a super long day, I don't know, maybe work 10 to 12 hours in that day. That's a lot of sitting and a lot of snacking. Yes. You know what I mean? So I think just in general for that, preparing um, mm -hmm. healthy foods, preparing healthy snacks in general for that, you know, I think that's going to be your number one. Absolutely. Because um, I get it. I mean, not, you know, being at work cool. I don't have time to go and do this. I don't have time. But if you prepare whatever that it is for snacks, et cetera, do that. Uh, another common mistake is a lot of folks will not eat. Mm -hmm. So that turns into more of a binging style. So say you work 10 to 12 hours, you're like, cool, I'm so busy cranking out people, blah, blah, blah. And now you're like on your way home and you're completely starving. And that turns into just bit like so overconsumption of food. So it's like eating a lot more than you typically would. Uh, I think your best number one bet is to have healthy foods or snacks available as well with a lot of water. Water fills up your tummy to where you're not as hungry. And I think if you get bored or you want to maybe get up and do something, uh, maybe like take a quick stroll or if it's nice outside, like, you know, if you have to get out as opposed to going and grabbing a snack and taking a second to be like, oh my gosh, this client is driving me crazy. Maybe you step outside for a second and enjoy the set, something like that, as opposed to snacking. Eating, snacking. Yeah. <laughs> so what yeah. are some of the worst snacks that you see people, because I mean, I fall for it. I'll see the, you know, the mm. granola bar and then there we go. later yeah. on in life, I find out <laughs> Snickers is better for me. I, so yeah. what I know, it's <laughs> good I would say like, the worst, the worst are like the grab, like the peanuts. I think okay. the word, like a lot of people will do like, oh my gosh, I had trail mix. I had the like overconsumption of car. And I hate to say this because carbs, carbs are your friend. Um, carbs, mm -hmm. we use carbs for energy. Mm -hmm. So when a lot of people think they're exercising, they got to go super crazy and they think they're burning fat you're you're burning carbs not fat so it's mm -hmm. carbs you use for energy so if you're consuming all i don't know 10 hours and you're eating a bunch of peanuts or you feel like that that's the number one trail mix oh my gosh yes granola <laughs> is great but in overconsumption it is because whatever you do not use for energy so maybe you didn't exercise that day maybe you didn't get out and walk maybe you didn't get your steps in that stores in your body is fat. So the body's mm -hmm. amazing. So it just stores it. So yeah. anything along those lines, right? And a lot of people will have like bread. Like they'll have, you know, like from Starbucks. I get that a lot, right? Oh, a yeah. lot of, right? Even banana. So banana is great in the morning, but if you're having more than a banana, like, yes, mm -hmm. it's a healthier choice. But again, it's just a lot of consumption of carbs. I would say okay. potato chips are, are super accessible and a lot of folks potato chips is their jam and I get it. So get it. But usually that's what it is. Okay. Um, so that leads us into our next question. Jessica um, from New York. She was wondering what um, program you recommend for working out um, because mm -hmm. she sits a lot like we just yeah. talked about. And do you offer anything if she was interested in setting up a call with you? If not, what's just the good start of, is it keto? Is she, does she need to go vegan? Is it you right. know, yeah, calorie yeah, yeah. counting? Yes, She's great just, question. I know, how do we, I know, how do we decide in the future? How do we decide like, hey, my friend Susie lost 30 pounds from this diet, but my friend, you know, Jane went to Soul Cycle and oh my gosh, she lost 50 pounds. Like what? Like how do I pick? How do I choose? Yeah. I think the best answer absolutely for that is what do you enjoy? Mm -hmm. Right? What do you enjoy day to day? Is it running? 
Is it being on a bike? Is it picking up weights? Is it being at home and exercising? Is it being in a group atmosphere? Is it one-on-one training? Is it, you know, and what, what do you enjoy? So you need to choose something that's sustainable. Like, cool. I love riding my bike. You know, do you like riding your bike with a group of people? Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's got to be something sustainable. And that goes with food too, as well. Right. Mm-hmm. So whatever that it is you enjoy eating, you have to implement that in because the the issue with fitness and as well as eating is it turns into more cool. I have, you know, 60 days to be in this shape or this day. So as opposed to thinking of it like that, what can you do to implement in your normal daily life? Right. Mm-hmm. And it's just all steps. Doesn't have to be anything drastic. But it's just like going to work every day. You know, you got to do it, right? Hopefully you do something that you enjoy. So you enjoy being at work for, you know, 10 hours. So what is that something that you can do for training? What is that food? Something that's sustainable where it turns into more of a lifestyle as opposed to, great, I did this, you know, for 80 days and now now I'm off. Like, oh man, I can't do 80 days was enough. And usually (laughs) that's what happens with fitness with training and with food so Mm -hmm. you really have to think about like hey you know what do I enjoy doing and if you're unsure my best advice that I can give is to try different things Mm -hmm. try kickboxing try soul cycle try lifting weights try being in a group environment try maybe your spouse loves to maybe that's something you guys can connect with that but you never know until you try those particular things on Hey, now you either found a new thing or actually I do enjoy this and this is what I can sustain, you know, three, four days a week, whatever that that may be for you. Yeah. I tried yoga. I tried it all until I found Hit Squad and I realized, you know, it's the best. I I love going to Hit Squad. They do weights and cardio. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. So maybe, you know, Jessica, you need to find something in New York um, that has weights and cardio or something like that, I guess, is what I would recommend. Um, or move to Colorado and join Hit Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, it took me a while to find something like that um, because I was just jumping around gym to gym and I'm kind of a class person where I need the energy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I know Andre, he goes to Vasa and can be by himself um, <laughs> yeah. and lift for hours. I don't function off of that. I have to have people around. Right. Yeah. <laughs> totally understandable. Yeah. I don't lift for so, hours. I have, I have an hour okay. time. Cap. I have an hour to 40 sometime. Even yesterday, just throwing this out there. I had a wow. 20 minute time cap. That's it. I had 20 minutes to get it in. That's that, it. What? Yeah, so you're just I'm, maintenance. You're just maintenance right this So time. no, so no, so no, because I'm always depending on what's happening. But yes, there is progression uh-huh. on what I do. There is a method okay. to my madness, but there is the, it's life. Um, I yeah. have a I have a nine year old son. I have a business. I do one on one clients. I, like I am busy all day, and what I have for my time, boom, cool. Maybe it's twenty minutes. I am legit going to die for 20 minutes or maybe I have an hour. Maybe I can have an hour without doing whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, absolutely. I mean, that totally makes sense because you are super busy. I even told my husband though, I said, Ty, you better get to a point after this baby's born and you're going to be on maintenance because I'm working out <laughs> six days a week. You don't hey, need to <laughs> <laughs> that's for me honey that's for me it's <laughs> my turn <laughs> so too funny yeah. <laughs> and um sasha had a question she's from utah and she was loving that we were doing this podcast and she was wanting to know andre what do you do when you feel burnt out of working out so, oh man, I think that's a phenomenal question. Absolutely. Because yeah. there is, yes, there's been a lot of times where I felt um, burnt out. Mm-hmm. And I think what's super cool just for me um, is, is trying something different, mm-hmm. right? What is, what is that? Usually when we feel burnt out, there's really no goal in mind, 
Mm-hmm. There's really no goal in mind of kind of what we're like, why are we doing this? Why are we here? And we kind of, and it kind of gets mundane. Absolutely. I've been there a bazillion times. Um, mm-hmm. A great example. Um, I, a few months ago, I had work, my son, I'm like, oh my gosh, the gym. And, but I found different goals and different goals required different energy uh, for different styles of training for myself. Sure. Yeah, so it was nice to have something new in your routine, mm-hmm. um, even mm-hmm. though it is fitness. And it, yes, it's the same gym. And yes, but it's just a different style of something, right? Different movements yeah. and different ways of going things. Um, for me, I was lifting a lot heavier weight, and that absolutely was taking a toll on me. Mm-hmm. So now I, I swapped it to where it's a lot less weight. I implemented in more functionality um, with my training. And it was super exciting uh, <laughs> on what I was doing because it was fun. It was super, yeah. like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a blast. Oh, that's so cool. And I think finding new goals and new methods on maybe what that is, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And even sometimes when you do feel burnt out, it could be from overtraining. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need to back off on your days of training, take a day off and take that day of fitness to be actually enjoying life, like why you're training. You're training, maybe it is to be functional. So go out and run, you know, maybe that day that you usually take, actually use what you do for training and use it in your everyday life. I love riding a bike. Mm-hmm. So me and my son go to the park a lot. And there's some days where I'm like, cool. Cause I usually train six days a week, maybe for the next three months, I'm training four days a week because two days I'm riding at the park. And then the next day we're, you know, jogging and walking a dog and whatever that that is, but it, yeah. <laughs> but I'm actually using what I'm doing as mm-hmm. opposed to anything else. Yeah, absolutely. So it's okay to take a break is what you're Ab- telling them. Absolutely. And maybe it could be a week, could be two mm-hmm. weeks, could be, yes, abs- your body needs it. It's just like work, right? You go, you go on vacation, you go, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um. So she also had a follow-up question. She said when she has huge cravings, what should she reach for um, besides high calorie things or binge eating. (laughs) And I get that. We have a Taco Bell in this parking lot, Andre. Oh my gosh. I I drive slow and I just have to slowly drive away. I'm like, don't think about it. Oh my gosh. Don't think about that BB5. Funny. I love that. (laughs) Yes. I think, I think, and I think it's okay to eat certain things yeah. whenever it is because we're human and I think whatever that that is if it doesn't happen all the time I think you need to give in to those cravings absolutely if this is a daily occurrence so for cravings like that then yes that's when it turns different right yeah. if not go go eat your taco bell boo-boo right <laughs> but if it's a daily thing that we're doing we need to figure out what that is is it like a crunch right is it a sweetness it is a, a etc you know what I mean? Yeah. So I felt like for me, I love cupcakes. I love cake. So like mm-hmm. sweets is my jam. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have like several different flavored protein shakes. I have like several, di- I have cupcake protein bars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they like, yeah, they take, I have some that are like ding dongs, you know, uh-huh. and they're there protein bars. Yeah. And it's essentially just that craving. And it, all it takes is just that one bite or that drink of that pizza particular like say if it's a protein shake for me it's sweets Mm -hmm. and as soon as I have that first taste it's gone like that's that yes absolutely yeah I've actually read a book about bench eaters because I am one because I I can do so good and so clean and then once I have a bite of something I eat the whole bag it doesn't matter how big the bag (laughs) is it's gone (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Yes, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but again, those times are okay. Like totally, you're human. You're not in any competition. You're not like it's you're human. You know, maybe it's a wine thing, or maybe it's I don't know gummies. Maybe you're doing gummies, yeah. like for <laughs> snacks. Fruit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that yes, it's totally good. But just you just need to notice if this is like a daily thing is this a daily crave is this a daily 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So you got to think about it like that. Yeah. So to a, a lash artist, how many steps or anything like that should they be trying to get in in a day? Like, I just, they always are asking about, you know, moving more, you know, yes. all these things. And it's hard to, you know, give them a recommendation or things like that, because the last 15 is such a big issue in our industry <laughs> and every, there are so many questions about it. So what would you tell someone who's just sitting all day? Like how many steps or where to start in this fitness industry? I think where to start is just to start moving. I think if you had a goal in general, because there doesn't, there doesn't need to be an exact number. Yeah. I think just doing it every day and hitting that goal every day. Maybe you start with a thousand. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's five, maybe it's 500. Maybe yeah. you hit 500 your first week and you're like, Oh, that was nuts. And then you want to increase that mm-hmm. to a thousand, increase that to whatever that it is each week. That's constantly keeping your body moving uh, and going period. So all it is, is just doing movement with the body. I don't think there's a specific step. Like mm-hmm. if, you, <laughs> like if someone wants to get super crazy with it, I would just challenge someone take, 10,000 steps a day someone wants to do it absolutely if you want to try that out (laughs) try that out but again these are crazy numbers I would say you just start moving your body just in general start with like 500 and then move from there especially just being at work but being a lunch I'm sure that you guys can walk a lot where you're at yes yeah for sure um and then the last question is what would you recommend for back like exercises or maybe a workout class to kind of help them maybe strengthen their back muscles or to make it just feel better. Um, it sounds like they're having a lot of back issues from leaning all day. Oh, so like back pain, like maybe lower back pain. Yeah. 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 Cause they're kind of like leaning over to do. I got it. Oh, yeah. 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 Or this yeah. can even be from a computer or yes, Anything. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think well, in ge- in general, I think just to start with bands, even have some bands at work. Just saying, you can oh, have bands at work. Yes, absolutely. And these can be yeah. your little breaks. These could be your little my time out, or it could have been a snack or something like that. But I think just even starting with light bands doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just essentially to start getting your upper back or rhomboids. Um, to fire um so you would want to do yep you would want to do um some high rows is mm-hmm. where you would want to do uh you'd want to do some low rows again i can maybe you can put up a link for it but they're super simplistic and basic um, movements um but usually basic and simplistic is what we need right yeah and you can have those bands from there um if you have a set of a home gym set up at home absolutely then you can utilize that cool when i get off i'm going to start doing some maybe it's dumbbells you go with dumbbell low rows high rows right you can start advancing from there to even pull-ups assisted pull-ups you can do an inverted row um, and take as much pressure off of the body as possible Um, there's all kinds of different movements that you can do especially with that but but just by doing that every day uh, is going to help that out and also working with posture. So doing your posture, mm-hmm. maybe you have a check, maybe you got a timer that you set and you have to readjust. So every time it reminds you, cool. So I'm slouching timer goes off. Okay. Let me readjust and just readjust in your posture. Even doing that would super help. I, I love that timer tip because I know I'm going to be the old lady in the retirement home because I've been lashing for 10 years <laughs> kind of yeah. well, I don't know we'll come in here old lady come back. in here that's not going to happen come in here as long as you're coming here that's that ain't true. happening <laughs> that is true I mean I'm spoiled I get Andre in Colorado but um and just to answer everyone's questions if you have any more questions and it seems like there was quite a few that we're, we're not even going to get to. You can reach out to him directly. Um, he said he is going to do some potential Zoom calls. So if you're interested Absolutely. in maybe some mentoring um, with Andre, he can help you guide you through all these struggles you guys are having. So, um, and his personal Instagram is 
at team underscore Dre all day. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Come on. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I mean, this is awesome. This is an awesome resource for these lash artists to maybe reach out to you, set up some Zoom calls, maybe some goals. Maybe they just need someone to talk to. That's what it means. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and if they're also interested to coming to Colorado, maybe some hit squad, they can call Absol- the hit abso- squad. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. We will be but, here. Uh, it seems like Andre is getting, he's going to be so busy. He, he's going to need his own personal assistant <laughs> soon. <laughs> That's right. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to take it some time. Coming. It's coming. <laughs> um, Andre, is there any more advice you'd give to someone who, you know, is a lash artist that maybe sits all day or needs is just lost in their, you know, fitness or their health. Like, they're just like, I give up, like, give me the donuts. I don't even care. I know. right? (laughs) I think the best uh, one is to understand that you are not the only person uh, feeling this. Um, This, I think fitness is a struggle. Fitness was a struggle for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think everyone feels that particular way. I think your best bet is just taking the first step and just to being open to trying something new and it doesn't have to be anything insane. Again, it can start with steps. Steps can turn into cool. I switched my chips to a banana, right? If I swapped my, um, Pepsi to diet Pepsi. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything extreme. And all it is is just progress through your fitness journey, step by step by step, super simplistic. Think about it like work. When you very, very first started as a lash artist, you had to go to school. How long did that take? You had to read, you had to study, you had to write. Fitness is the same thing. There's no difference. You have to start somewhere. And all you have to do is be willing to take 100 steps a day. I yeah. set a timer and cool. I have to readjust every five minutes and my timer go, oh, yes, reset. Nothing crazy. I think just getting out there, starting, being open to trying new things, classes, go swimming, ride your bike, whatever that that is, because that turns into something you don't, something so big you won't even know. Uh, it's very that, life-changing. Great. I love that. Um, so I just wanted to thank you, Andre, because you have changed my physical appearance and my mental health and everything so I had to share you and I hope you don't get too busy from this because uh, (laughs) you still have to train me absolutely I know (laughs) I know and I'd be waiting I've been waiting all the time look at all the classes I'm like is she in here right right so I I'm just so grateful for you and all the knowledge you bring and everyone's going to love this and all I just couldn't believe all the questions I was just I was in shock I was like reading question after question I was like man Andre's not going to know what to do with all these questions we're not going to get to them all (laughs) I know I'm with it I'm with it though so whatever you got I can even answer separately or whatever part part two two I'm with it 